I've got the NFC version of the Xiaomi Poco X3. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how to boot the base model of the Poco X3, this NFC variant, as well as the Poco X3 Pro, both into recovery mode, as well as how to exit recovery mode and boot you back into Android. Now there are actually a couple of different ways that we can boot into recovery mode. I'll be using the button combination method in this video since it is easier and does not require you to install a program on the PC. It also does not require you to have a PC. But if you want, I'll also be including the ADB command in the video description for anybody who wants to manually boot the phone into recovery mode using the ADB reboot command. But again, typically the button combination is the easiest. And in order to do that, we need to get the phone in a powered off state. So if you're booted into Android and you can shut the phone down, do that like you normally would. If your phone is currently in a boot loop, you can still boot into recovery mode, but you will need to time when you press the power and volume up buttons. The goal here is to wait until the phone is booted down and it is completely powered off. Then if you're in a boot loop, you need to be very quick whenever you time this. You want to press the power and the volume up buttons. We're gonna press both of those buttons at the same time and we're gonna to continue to hold those two buttons down past this initial boot menu and into the recovery mode menu. Now, if you see here, we were at one menu whenever we first booted in here, but because of the way I let go of these buttons, it actually sent me over into a secondary menu, which is fine. And there are times when release these buttons and it actually causes the phone to reboot. You can check out some of my previous videos that I've done showing you how to boot into recovery mode as I've made that mistake on those videos. So you can see an example of how that looks and how you can just simply continue to hold those two buttons down and attempt the process again. So the goal here is to get into recovery mode so again, if you see the secondary menu, we're just going to press the power button because the touch screen does not work in the stock recovery mode here. But we need to make sure that the back to main menu option is highlighted because that is the option that's going to be selected when we press that power button. And we can control which option is highlighted by using the volume down buttons. So if I were to press the power button now, it would select the reboot option. If I were to press the power button now, it would select the wipe data option. And if I were to press the power button now, it would select the connect with me assistant option. So this is the stock recovery mode menu for the Xiaomi Poco X3 series phone. You can see right now we have the Poco Recovery 3.0 installed. This number will likely change in the future as Xiaomi pushes out new over-the-air updates. But this will also boot you into a custom recovery such as TWRP or LR Team if you have previously installed one on the phone. So again, while you're here, you are able to do a factory data reset and wipe all of the personal data you have on your device. This is what most people will use if the phone is in a boot loop because their Android operating system is likely corrupt or misconfigured and you're gonna to need to wipe the data and reset the phone in order to get a working Android operating system. But you also may be using the Xiaomi Mi PC program which connects to the Mi Assistant feature. And this is where you will find that option. However, you're also able to boot back into the Android operating system by simply selecting the reboot option, pressing the power button, 
and then making sure the reboot to system option is highlighted in blue before you press the power button again. Now just like when I did the tutorial for the Poco X3 and booting into fast boot mode, what we did right here is we are attempting to boot into Android. The reboot system now option is just going to attempt to boot you into Android. If your device is currently in a boot loop, then it will fail your attempt to boot into Android. If that happens to you, you're likely going to need to boot back into recovery mode, perform a factory data reset by selecting that wipe data option, and then attempting to boot into Android a second time. And that wraps up today's tutorial, showing you how to boot the Poco X3 Pro into recovery mode, as well as how to boot the smartphone out of recovery mode and back into the Android operating system.